I got Reese and Doggone. Oh, I got Reese's Silver Piercings. That's actually, um... Yeah, that's actually a, um... An item you need to make the bunny bod. And, like, more bunny items. And, like, m m most of them you're gonna buy with tickets anyway. Or you're gonna get from a time attack mission that, like, is hard and never seems to give you the stuff that you want. Oh, wow, that was lucky. I actually got raises silver piercings from that. Anyway. So... The city is just, like, totally back to normal. <laughs> Totally back to normal. Like, in a second. Doesn't- It makes it feel like there isn't really any stakes here. Like, I mean, you could have- Could you have, like, some remnants of the battle? Like, maybe some scorch marks on- On the thing, or like, a, a structure, like, being repaired? I don't know. Anyway, let's get par uh, back to what's good about this game, which is the gameplay. <laughs> the normal missions. Oh, and we uh, when we beat the next uh, chapter mission, we can get our flight module, so that should be great. Okay, so I can actually do chapter 9, like, right now. I'm not going to. I'm going to get to level 35 first. Um, and I'm gonna do a few normal missions as well, just to- so I won't, like, go directly into chapter 9. That would be weird. Um, but let me show you a really easy way to level up. Uh, first you go to the Weeping Whitewood. All you need is a G-Buster. Like, you could buy it at the store, if you're just tuning in. Or you can get better versions in, uh, Gangling and Strongholds, like the one in Silvalum. Just pick one, and any one. Uh, so I don't miss. I'm gonna put melee accuracy up. Keep doing that. Aww. <laughs> Just keep doing that. Um, like, you might die. They're pretty strong, but they have low HP. And since they're 20 levels above you, they'll give tons of XP. So, like, that's how you can level up. It's pretty exploitable. Okay, we are at Frontier Nav Site 317 right now. And I want to show you this. I, I already showed you it before, but just in case you're just tuning in. A money-making method. You jump down from here. Go in here. And then there's all these collectibles. And especially if you're a curator, it should get your blade level up fast. Um, so I got all the characters I want to take in chapter 9 into level 35, but I ran out of money because uh, high level armor is extremely expensive, so I do want to get more money. Um, so this is one method, and that's a very early game method that you can get uh, before you get a skull. And the other one is, if I can find it. I'm, I'm sure this one's accessible even before you get a skull, but it's certainly easier if you have a skull. Go to Rock Mole's Burrow. Um, 
and I completely forgot how to get in there. Let's let's turn on the light. There's a frontier nav site in here, too. Oh, and the reason uh, collecting those collectibles makes money is because once you get 100 of each, or 99 of each, I forget which one, uh, then you... It starts to convert to money. 100 uh, credits per, which adds up if you're collecting stuff super fast. we go. And as you can see, that thing's aggressive, but it's asleep, so we're safe for now. That's good. I was looking for this before, but didn't find it. Anyway. Um, these crabs aren't aggressive, as long as you're out of your scale. You could run around and collect the collectibles like this, but it's slower. And I don't think this thing's gonna wake up. Because we're out of our scale. So we can just grab this treasure. Um, and we don't even have to go back uh, fast travel right here. We can just get out of our skill and then return to skill. So I might collect some money here. Oh, I just got a bunch of Frontier Nav revenue. Might run around, collect some uh, stuff here. I also want to raise my, my blade level too because at this point it kind of becomes impossible unless you're like actively trying to. So I'm gonna do that. And I might also just kind of sit around and edit videos and, and let the money rack up from my, uh, my data probes. I still can't get the outfit I want because I also need a Mirren survey rate of 40%, so I'm gonna see if I can get that up by... Uh, let's do, do it the easy way and, and do it um, just by getting a... Oh, I was already there. Uh, getting some treasure. And let's uh, explore some new places too. Oh, there we go. Ooh, look at this. These are all parts of my task. Oh, it was just insects? So I could do it on any insects. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, no way. Not gonna deal with those right now. But yeah, there is lots of treasure in uh, ganglion bases. like a whole new game once you get a skull. Um, I'm guessing... No. I'm guessing the treasure is up the tree. right there. Well, I mean, there's another one. Okay, that wasn't it either. I'll worry about that later. Uh oh. Somebody heal me already. Hey murderess, remember that time you tried to shoot us in the back? Think about that next time. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a 40% uh, Mirren survey rate just from doing this. Go up there. right here. Uh, looks like they saw us. Yeah, they sure did, Gwen. Thanks.
have to get the flight module to get up there, or or it's gonna be a lot easier that way. It was only two? Oh, it was five. I did them before. I could have taken them on alone. Irina, you're a support character. No, you couldn't. That wasn't it. I guess it's not bad to get treasure either way, even if it isn't needed for segment recon. Probably it, too. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat these things with only one skill, because it's gonna take two blows to do it. And there's one up here. Try a different place. I already did Primordia, but I, I didn't um, explore any new places. I did I did some of Primordia, that is. We'll be able to do this much easier once we get the flight module. But I mean, I really want that outfit. I want to. Whoops. You and me. I really wanted this outfit for Hope, because I wanted to take her... ...on Chapter 9. Let me adjust everyone's arts. Let's do some normal missions before we start on Chapter 9. Hey! Look! It's Bloom! Wait, sorry. You don't know me, do you? I'm a blade, same as you. I'm with the prospectors, so I mostly handle jobs where folks need natural resources surveyed and raw materials collected. You're an Elmas team, right? I'll bet working under the colonel lets you see a lot of tough assignments, but you're still breathing, so it must be going okay. You certainly look like you could handle any tasks folks throw your way. I'm jealous. Like right now, I've got a request in to survey a mountain way up north. It's a nasty spot and I have no idea how to tackle it. The mountain itself is dangerous enough, but then you add in all the weird wildlife. Not to mention it's been crawling with Xenos lately for some reason. Especially those reptile-like ones, the Manon or whatever. Ugh, I bet they're using their crazy high-tech weapons to kill everything, indigents or humans. No way! My buddy says they're all super dangerous. They'll kill you five times before you hit the ground. If they wanted, the tech on that spaceship of theirs could burn New LA to a crisp in seconds. They're just biding their time, I tell you. Me wandering alone on some treacherous peak full of their kind sounds like crazy talk. So, uh, you free today? Come on, it'll be fun. Mountain climbing. Who doesn't love a good hike, eh? Let's go conquer this peak together. I'll even split the reward 50-50. All you have to do is beat up any weird Xenos we come across. Oh, and make sure I don't get fried. Whew, thanks. I've been so stressed out. I even had a dream last night about being abducted by Manon. They... 
did weird things to me. I gotta tell you, I was this close to just bailing on the job entirely. You're real easy to talk to, you know that? Us Blades aren't robots. Sometimes you get a job you just don't feel like doing. But I get that we don't always have the luxury of being choosy. I feel way better about going now that you're coming along, though. I mean, I know we're going for serious work reasons, but it should still be fun, right? Clean air, nice views, mountains are great. I'll go ahead and wait for you at the foot of the mountain, near the second terrain of Talon Rock. Don't keep me waiting too long. <gasps> she was a ghost this whole time. Remember, we only kill obvious threats. Did you remember to bring food? What about warm clothes? Climbing tools? Avalanche probe? Between rock slides and falls, a mountain can be more dangerous than any of the animals living on it. Gotta stay focused, even if you know the area well. Wait, are you some kind of expert climber too? I knew I'd be leaving the fighting to you, but I hoped I could at least be the Sherpa guide. Ah, uh, well, anyway. On my way here, I did a bit of preliminary digging, and I've already found some crazy stuff. Like, here I have some lion bone bort and focaltium, both minerals used in making scales and weapons. A pretty valuable find, that. If we can find some more samples, we'll have enough to run purity tests. Wanna help me look? Great, then let's meet back up here once we've found a few more samples of both. Sound good? Just be sure to watch out for wild animals and xenos. Oh, and yetis, even though I don't think they exist. Oh, thank goodness! Look over there! It's a killer alien! Is that a m, m man What do we do? It's gonna abduct us and perform weird experiments on our bodies and then eat us! I have no intention of eating you, understand? Please, please calm down. I just want to be friends with humans, okay? I'm actually so, so glad we met here. Yeah, like we're gonna fall for that, right? Back me up here! What? But my buddy says these Manon have all kinds of dangerous technology and they can't wait to use it. Manon hold no hostility against humans, you know. At least, I have none against you. Nope, not buying it. Now stay back. Any closer and I'll shoot. Oh, I guess this means we can't be friends, doesn't it? If you plan to stay, be so so careful of Sinicula's, okay? Many, many man on have been attacked here, you know? Hmm, she seemed kind of sad at the end there. Nope, not thinking about it. She's clearly a killer alien that's gonna eat me. Anyway, how about those mineral samples? Perfect, you found them. Nice work, partner. Hey, I'm thinking this mountain probably has all kinds of useful stuff buried in it. Let's forget about that, Xeno, and keep up the search. I'll meet you up ahead. Shh, 
You're safe now. Try to calm down, okay? If you cry, that thing might hear you. Uh, right, I understand. But, but are you sure? About me? I'm a man on, you know. You called me a killer alien, but 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 then you helped me anyway. Y yeah, well, I, I was only kidding. It's a, a term of endearment. Ah, Bloom, perfect timing. What, this? Well, I couldn't just leave a little girl to get eaten alive, even if, it, if she is a Xeno. We were near this ridge-like formation up ahead when we were suddenly attacked by a ferocious mountain sinicula. Sorry to be a pain, but do you think you could jog over there and take care of it for me? You know, pop pop two in the hat. I'll look after this girl while you take care of business. I can catch you up on the details after. Yeesh, we could hear that Sinicolous scream from here. Hopefully we can get to the summit in peace now. You're headed to the top to gather materials too, right? Inise, wanna come with us? Oh, really? I mean, it's been so much fun having someone to talk to, but, but, are you sure I won't be getting in your way? Don't be silly. Besides, I owe you for that candy you gave me. Oh, speaking of, you've gotta try this chocolate bloom. This stuff is bananas. Uh, bananas. By which I mean crazy. Not that it tastes like bananas. Apparently it's all the rage with the man on kids these days. It's sweet, but there's this perfect hint of bitter, right? I haven't tasted anything like it in New LA. Well, what do you think? I mean, am I crazy or is it the most amazing thing in the history of things? Hmm, serious though. Seriously though. How do you make this? I want to marry it, and then I want it stuffed into my coffin when I die. Uh, well, the vis viscera of the sinicula are dried out and condensed before being reconstituted with bile. The resulting treat is both delicious and nutritious, no? <laughs> no! Are you serious, Nise? Girl, you gotta tell me these things ahead of time! Is that a problem? I know that Sinicolas are dangerous primordial creatures, but their flesh contains no poison whatsoever, you know? Almost wish it did. Ugh. Uh, but no, there's no problem, Inise. It was still very nice of you to share. Uh, let's just head for the summit. Hey, 
bloom. Inesi and me are gonna walk to the walk and talk for a bit. Meet you at the top, okay? Is she with you? Sorry, I, I shouldn't panic. I'm glad you kept calm at least. I read about a type of bladder that lives up here called the Abyssal Blatta. I guess we found one. We must have been gathering mineral, mineral samples in its territory, which is why it got mad and dive-bombed us. Inise pushed me out of the way. She probably saved my life. Then I saw the thing fly off into that cave up ahead. Please, you've got to help me find Anisei. I know we only just met, but she's my friend. That was a ledge. Come on, you and me. Start the ready. Fire. Got to take it in close. I am going to get right through it. Final warning. Got you. I'll cover you. Any healing? Hang on. I'll stand it right in space. Good riddance. Crap, looks like they saw us. Got an interceptor around.
heard a big commotion. Was that you taking out that flatta? Whew. And wow, you really live up to... Up to the... Your reputation, huh? So, is Inise okay? Huh? Inise, what's wrong? She... She's not moving. How do you do CPR in a man on? Uh, where's the heart located? Can I even take a pulse? Uh, why didn't I bother to learn anything useful about Xenos? Come on, wake up. Please. We only just became friends. It's way too soon for goodbye. Friends? We are friends? You're okay? You'd be my friend even though I'm a man on? Really? Really, really? I'm so, so glad. I've stared out at New LA from our ship for some time and felt a longing, maybe? I wanted to get closer to the curious cyborgs that somehow still overflowed with warmth, you know? Inise, are you alright? Oh, ow! My joints ache, but I don't think anything is broken. So, so, so that's good, right? Thank goodness. Let's get you out of this cave and patch you up. I promise I won't let any more me big slobbery monsters get anywhere near you. Thanks for everything, Bloom. We gathered some great mineral samples and verified the local wildlife. I'd say our survey's done. Here's the reward. I was pretty useless this time around, so you should have it all. Yeah, I'm sure. I made a new friend from this assignment after all. That's more than enough of a reward for me. We're heading out. See you back home. You ready, Anise? Yes, Serona. On the way down, I can point out various mineral deposits and herbs, if you like. Hey, slow down, girl. I appreciate the thought, but we've got to get you looked at first. Probably just gonna try to get a little more, uh, some more treasure in here. 